Hi guys, this is my Hoya Carnosa Crimson Clean, and um, it's it's a bit delayed in regards to the first um, video for this. I did do an unboxing for this, but for whatever reason, I just I forgot, and life kind of happens. And um, if you have seen the unboxing of this, if you've seen um, how much smaller she was before versus now. When I did get a Hoya, or I started with the Hoya obsession that I did have, um, and it took me quite a while to acquire them. I didn't get it in like one day. What, um, everywhere that I researched, um, ev and everybody says that, you know, they're very, very slow growers. Um, she's, this one has only, this one's almost about a year with me. Um, I would say a few, in a few months, it'll be one year with me. She has grown like a weed, you guys. Um, and if you um, are confused between a queen and a princess, the queen's variegation is the outline of the leaves. The princess is in the inside of the leaves. So that is how um, you can tell the difference. They're, they are both carnosa. So supposedly the only difference is the leaf variegation. Um, I do have three different types of, of um, Hoya Carnosa. I have four different. Um, I have four different pots of Hoya Carnosa total. I have one queen. I have two princesses because that was my first one, and because people were saying it's a very very slow grower. You know, don't expect much of it. Um, so I just tried to clip and propagate them, and now I I am kind of regretting that because. Um, my Hoyas grow like weeds, so um, I don't know what other people are doing, um, but that's how mine are, and I'm, I, I am honestly getting terrified because I feel like I'm going to run out of room, and I don't know what, how to deal with it anymore. Um, so everything that I do use to water her is down in the description section. I do use that mix every single time I water Currently, I water her every 10 days. She is in a regular potting soil mix, um, just regular potting soil by Schultz. Um, a lot of people use cactus dirt. A lot of people use orchid bark. I have never used those in my Hoyas. And uh, my Hoya Carnosa, all of them seem to be thriving with this soil. So if you are curious and you do have access to that particular soil, um, it works for me. It, I'm, um, if you want to just try that out, that's fine, but I'm just letting you know that it works for me. And again, she is only being watered right now every 10 days. I always make sure that the top part of the soil is not damp anymore, and that's when I do water. She sits in an 8-inch pot. This is 8 inches, and she is just massive. This is probably, this has probably grown quicker than versus my princesses for whatever reason um she just grows a little bit more and i think it could be the variegation because the queen the queen's variegation isn't really as intense versus my princesses my princesses variegation definitely is more like this leaf out here is very very tiny variegation on the outline um versus my princess um and these pink leaves um i actually enjoy that but some people don't the very true hoya um hoya pioneers or people who have owned hoyas for numerous years i've only owned a hoya almost a year currently so you know i'm not really those experts in regards to that um I do enjoy watching the pink leaves. Those those just fade away. Some people don't like them because it's indicating that it's too much light. As long as they don't burn, I'm fine with it. The burning came from I sprayed a foliar spray. And um, supposedly I followed the directions on the foliar spray. Um, but I, I sprayed it when it was still really light out or it was going to get light later in that day. And um, it burned. So I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, the reason I did the foliar spray was because I wanted um, this plant to grow really, really quickly. I was very impatient in the very beginning, but due to my water mix, I really did see a difference in about a few months. Um, just so you know, if you do fertilize and supplement and things like that, 
it depends on the brand usually, but sometimes um, they're, they're really, really great ones. The one that I'm using right now, it's not overnight that you see a big difference. Like you'll see a slight difference, but the more you use it, like with, with me, from my experience, the more you use it, the further along, let's just say in after a month, you'll see a difference. After two months, it's it's a bigger difference than the previous month. After three months, it's a bigger difference than the the, the month two and so on and so forth. Um, she has not flowered for me yet, and I think it's due to the fact that she is in an 8-inch pot, which is okay, really. I am getting really nervous because she is such a fast grower. As you can see, she's incredibly bushy and lush, and I didn't really expect that. Um, everybody always says in the Hoya community on what slow growers they are, and she is growing like a weed. There have been times in which... I'll, you know, it, the next morning, because I usually water my plants in the morning, the next morning I find her um, curled up on the shelf, because I do have a shelving unit and she sits on there, curled up on the shelf above her. And, uh, you know, I have to gently, slowly uncurl that and put her back. So all of these, like the 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 cute little clips and the sticks, will be down in the description section as well. If you guys are curious in doing that, I I'm just looking around and wanting to to make sure she doesn't really. I don't want her to to curl up somewhere in which I can't really um rotate her when I want to um or move her around if I want to. My husband suggested to just let it grow like like um like a trellis style i don't really like that um i just i want to be able to if i can not you know if i if i need to move her due to her size or transplant her and stuff like that that it won't be very difficult for me and the plant as, as well um again this is watered every 10 days i use regular potting soil um she sits in front of a west facing window so she does get indirect light throughout the day. Um, she gets her direct light in um, the afternoon and early afternoon. And if it's really gray out or there's not a ton of light, because she sits in a spot that's in the corner where sometimes it it doesn't really get the 100% amount of light from the west-facing window, if that makes any sense. So I will turn on a LED plant light that is about three feet, three to four feet away from her. Um, and that does kind of help, I think. But um, that's just really for me. And when it's really dark out, I do need the extra light. So it's kind of dual purpose for the plant and, of course, for me. So, you know, it's not too dark for me. And the dark is really kind of hard for everybody mentally, I would think. Um, so... I don't, I've, I've stopped buying Hoyas because for me, from my experience, they just grow like weeds, especially the Carno Carnosa variety. They grow so much. Um, one of my friends, she, she keeps acquiring Hoyas and every time she gets a Hoya and she doesn't really know, she usually asks me for an ID and I do my research and all that stuff and I do get it done within a few hours. Um, and also with her other with her other plants, but I didn't even know that she nicknamed me as like a Hoya queen or something. Cause she, and I told her, and I mean, she's aware of the fact that I don't know that much about Hoyas, but for her, when she sees my plants, she just like, she just thinks, you know, I'm doing a great job, which is, which is great, but I'm just, I'm just really doing what I do know what to do, which is trial and error and just observing really on a daily basis, that's what I do. I just watch my plants, I see if they like what I'm doing, I see if they need more. And the thing with plants though, especially with Hoyas, is that Hoyas can be somewhat a little finicky, but for me, if you do want to try a a beginner um, Hoya, I would suggest the Carnosa kinds. Um, the Queen is definitely an easy one too. I would suggest the Jade. But um, if you can't find the jade, the queen and the princess, I think the princess is the most common you can find in, in stores. And the queen, you can kind of find them too. I think that the jade is a little harder to get. And for um, that's my, my area. Um, it could be just because 
this has more variegation. The princess has more variegation. The jade really has just like tiny specks on there, but not really very variegated. So a lot of times they just don't get that. It's, it's really weird because the jade is a very fast growing plant and you could definitely mass produce that really quickly. But I guess, you know, I'm not a nursery and I don't really, you know, I'm pretty sure they respond to supply and demand. Um, so if you guys have any um, information or you want to chit chat about this particular plant, you got questions about this particular plant, let me know in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Um, if there's anything else that I totally missed, let me know down in the comment section as usual. Again, if you, I, I hope you enjoyed my video. You're going to hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell. And all my social media comments in the description section, just like what I do use every time I water this plant, which is currently every 10 days. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!